Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Just getting ready to get our workout started in a few minutes here. I'm just prepping Bo and Trixie for the workout. So they're gonna work hard today <laughs> at sleeping. Yeah, these are my dogs, Bo and Trixie. You might recognize them if you've seen any of my YouTube videos before. This one here is Bo. He's a, he's the shorter one with shorter legs and a little more stocky. And Trixie is the female and she has long legs and they're brother and sister. Hey, hey Karen, hey, welcome back. How are you feeling today, Karen? It's good to see you here. I was gonna send you a message later, see how you're feeling. I'm glad you're here. You must be feeling pretty good. <laughs> yep, these are my puppies. These are my golden doodles. They're six and a half years old and they like uh, that they're becoming YouTube stars. <laughs> I said, these are the early days. We're just, we're just getting started on this here. All right, Karen says she feels great, ready for more. Yes, Karen. Um, came to my group class last night in town. We live near each other and she came to my group class in, uh, for the first time and you did amazing, Karen. I'm so happy to see you back here today. Yeah. Hey, if you're out there, give me a shout out uh, in a comment. Let me know where you're from and uh, if you're ready to get fit. All right, puppies, we're gonna get started shortly. I'll get started right at 12, but yes, thank you for joining me. All right, I'm, I'm excited today. Yeah, shoot me a comment before we get started. Let me know where you are in the world. Um, so excited uh, the other day that uh, after we did a Tuesday 45-minute uh, live workout, a day or so later, I got a comment from um, a subscriber saying that they did the workout from Saudi Arabia. It, I was like, wow, it's just amazing to have uh, that kind of reach. So I'm very flattered that, uh, that you're here today. And if you're watching this in the replay, thank you so much for, uh, for being here. All right, it is 12 noon Eastern time. I am, so we're gonna get started here uh, and we'll, uh, we're gonna get started with a uh, quick warm up. okay? Let's just start marching in place. So today's workout, is upper body core and cardio. All right, and we're gonna have five sets today. And each set is about seven minutes, okay? So the format for the sets are all the same. Let's do a step touch and a twist. The format for the sets is the same. We've got three minutes of up, upper body, three minute, uh, two minutes of core, and one minute of cardio. All right, it's a three, two, one workout. Good, let's have some squat and heel raise three minutes of upper body, two minutes of core, one minute of cardio, okay? That's the name of the game for today. Now, between the three minutes and the two minutes, and between the two minutes and the one minute, hey, hey, Michelides is pumped, all right? Between those, we've got 30 second rest, all right? So we are gonna get some rest. We're gonna try to work for that full duration, that full interval, and work for our rest. Everything today is 30 seconds. All the works are 30 seconds and all the rest periods are 30 seconds. We're moving fast. That's pretty quick. Tuesday we had some rest periods that were one minute. Not today, 30 seconds, okay? As always, you do your best. Whatever that means for you today. Doesn't matter what it meant for you yesterday or Tuesday. What does it mean for you today? You can get uncomfortable. And I encourage you to get uncomfortable in your workouts, but not to push through pain, okay? We are not pushing through any pain. We are staying uncomfortable, but if we have pain, we have to stop. Two ways to decrease the intensity of your workout. Let's step and twist. Two ways, drop your weights, lower your range of motion, march in place. That's three, isn't it? Can't do the math today. Good, side to side lunges. Increasing your intensity. You would do that by increasing your weights, moving faster, working through the rest, increasing your range of motion. I have two sets of dumbbells today. Go something on the light to medium side. I've got eights and fours. I'm sort of nursing back a little shoulder injury here, so I'm going on the lighter side today. All right, we'll be using the weights for the upper body and the core portion, and head rolls. 
For the cardio, we will not be using any weights. Only one minute of cardio at a time. Don't let that scare you. Other way, low impact cardio is welcome. You probably see me doing some of that too, okay? All right, you're gonna start at about 10 seconds. Get yourself a drink if you need one. Otherwise, let's pick up your weights for our first set of five bent lateral raises. Let's go. Up and down, that's it. Exhale up, inhale down. Now my arms are in a 90 degree position, right? I'm maintaining that 90 degree angle all the way up and all the way down. We're going at this for 30 seconds. This is our three minutes of upper body here, first set. The way this is gonna work is that there are six 30 second intervals. We're about ready to enter into the next one, which is a seesaw overhead press. Here we go, seesaw overhead press. One up, one down. In the seesaw press, both arms are moving at the same time. If you need a little relief from this, you're gonna just lift one arm at a time. Lift one arm, put it down, then lift the other arm, put it down. Otherwise, let's keep them moving. Exercise number two here. Next up, we're moving into a bent row. Yes, workout's going great so far. So glad to have you here with us. Let's go bent row. If you're just joining us, we are doing a three, two, one format today, upper body, core, and cardio. Three, two, one refers to the number of minutes. All right, we have bent rows here. After this, we're gonna go ahead and repeat that set. That means we're going back to the bent laterals, seesaw, and back to the row. All right, exhale up, inhale down. That's it. Ready to go back to bent laterals. Ready, here we go. Bend your elbows. That's it. Exhale up, inhale back down. Good. Through this twice, three exercises at 30 seconds, going through it twice. That's what gives us our three minutes, okay? And see how this is gonna work today. That's how it's gonna work. Yeah. Good job, everybody. We got a seesaw press, let's go. Good, two more intervals here, then we're gonna get our rest. 30 seconds rest is coming. Every up is the exhale. How are we doing out there? Oh, glad you're here. Here we go, bent row. Okay, last one, then we're gonna get our rest. We'll have our three minutes done. Keep your back nice and straight. I'm gonna turn to the side to show you my straight back. All right, I do have a slight bend in my knees, but it's a micro bend. I'm not in a squat. The only purpose of that micro bend is to support my low back so I can keep it straight. Shoot your elbows to the back wall. Back and biceps. Excellent. All right, take your rest. You did fantastic. You've got your first three minutes of upper body done. Now we're moving on to two minutes of core. All right, I'm gonna get down on the mat. All right. All right, he feels the burn. Okay, Miko, good job. All right, we have bicycles first, okay? Bicycles, you wanna take your shoulder to your knee. Here, don't close it up and bring your elbow in. Shoulder to knee, 30 seconds. Ready, all right. Karen feels it too, let's go. Full extensions on your legs, twist, shoulder to knee. You should not be able to see your elbows. If you're looking at your elbow, it's because you're closing up your chest. Keep your chest open. Got 10 seconds here. We're going into side leg V-ups next. You're just gonna roll onto your side. Three, two, one, on your side, shoulder down, V up, two legs. Alternative, one leg, straight legs. Two legs or one leg. This is tough, it's two minutes of core, okay? After this, we're going back to our bicycles. Woo! When we come around again, we'll hit this on the other side. Bike. Yes, come on. 
keep going. If you need a modification, put your feet flat on the floor, raise one knee at a time. Keep breathing, elbow back, twist, lift your shoulders. Sideline V-ups coming up. Other side, ready, let's go. Ooh. This one here will finish. Our two minutes will get a rest. Almost there. Oh, the burn. Come on. Break's coming. Stay with me. Done. Oh, wow. That was a tough, tough, tough core set. Okay, you've got 30 seconds here. And then we have our one minute of cardio. Okay, one minute of cardio. We are going to be doing jumping jacks and skaters. 30 seconds of each is our one minute. Jumping jacks here. Alternative for low impact, one leg at a time, okay? 30 and 30. Our first set is done. We'll get ready for the second set. Ready? Here we go. Jumping jacks, high impact with a little air. That's right, low impact, one at a time. Let's go, let's burn. Three, two, one. This is the one. Whew. Yeah, we're going into skaters next, okay? Are you with me? Yes. Three, two, one, skate. You can jump or you can step and touch behind you. Let's go. We've got this here. Rest is coming. Let's finish up this first set. Yeah, this is gonna mark 20% of the way through the workout. Okay. Good. That's it. Almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Five seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. All right. Give yourself a rest. Did a great job. Really good. Really nice work. Very nice work. Okay. You have 30 seconds here. Okay. And we are going in to our next set. Get your weights. It's an overhead tricep press. Upper body, core, cardio, ready. <sighs> Overhead tricep press, get set. Here we go, let's go, 30 seconds. Lower and lift. This one, opposite of bicycles. I want you to be able to see your elbows in your peripheral vision, okay? If you can't see them, that's because your elbows are too far back or they're too far spread apart. All right, we're trying to isolate our triceps. You need your elbows pointed straight forward, straight towards me, okay? Straight toward the camera, your TV, whatever you're looking at. Circular curls, here we go. Circular biceps, palms up. Bring it in and up around the side, good. Give me some shoulder rotation here, good. That's it, Woo. Oh yeah, great. We have upward crossover flies next. There is not much rust in this workout between these sets. Oh, that's how we gotta get it all done, right? You know what I said though, if you need more rest, take more rest, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. That's it. Good. Cross. Yes. 15 seconds here, okay? And then we know what to do, because we are going back to the overhead tricep press. Yes, good. Keep your body straight forward. Yeah, up and down triceps again. Ooh, let's finish this three minutes of upper body. Yeah, inhale, exhale up. If you need a little relief, put one weight down. You can do the tricep press with one weight, okay? Belly's in tight, no arching. <sighs> Circular curls coming up. <sighs> <sighs> yes. <sighs> Here we go. Circular curls. Bring them up around the outside. Yeah. Really, 
really extend your shoulders there, okay? Give me a good shoulder rotation all the way to the outside. Like you're bringing those weights down to the side walls. <sighs> yeah. We have crossover fly. That's coming up next. Crossover fly. Okay? Then our break. Our short break before core. Crossover fly. Ready? Get set. Here we go. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh, I'm so glad you're out there with me. Come on. Even if you're just getting started, get yourself warmed up and pick up these weights. You haven't missed much. Don't worry about it. Let's just get going. We've still got three and a half sets left. Almost there. That's it. You're at your rest. You're at your 30 seconds rest. I'm getting a drink. We're going into core next. And on core, we're going to do standing core, okay? So you can stay standing upright. You don't have to get on your mat. Oh, all the comments disappeared, Jim. All right, let me start with the lighthouse. My husband, Jim, back there helping me. Yeah, so some of the comments disappeared. All right, get your comments back. Yes, okay, ready, lighthouse, here we go. Swing side to side. Now. The further away you hold this weight from your body, the harder it is. If you need a little relief, bring the weight in close, okay? Holding it out further is harder on the shoulders, gives a longer liver, more torque on your core. Don't forget to pivot your toes, okay? Can't twist your knees if you pivot your toes. Hold that weight at shoulder height. Standing crunches next. Weight up, let's go. Crunch, crunch. I want you to march high. If you need to put the weight down, it's okay. If you need to bring the weight to your chest, it's okay. Standing crunches. Come on, thigh to chest. Every one is an exhale. We're going right back to lighthouse. Lighthouse next, okay? Here we go, lighthouse. Let's finish this up a little bit more. Pivot, arms up, don't let them sag down, okay? So chest height, chest height. <sighs> Woo! 10 seconds. A few more. Yes, great, okay. Put the weight down. You're fabulous, you're doing fabulous, okay? Next up is our one minute of cardio. We're gonna start with skaters again, okay? This is how we get all the cardio stuff in twice as well. Skaters, and then we're going to squat jumps, all right? Squat jumps, like this, land softly on your toes. Alternative will be squat with a heel raise. Ready for skaters? One minute of cardio till break, ready? Here we go, skate, let's go. Whatever you're doing, if you're jumping or you're stepping, let's get down low. Get down low. These are squats, lunges, however you want to think of it. Looks like a curtsy lunge in a way. Leg strength and balance, little coordination. Squat jumps coming up, okay? We can do it. Then we get our break. Ready? Here we go. Squat jump. Turn this into a squat with a heel raise and keep your feet on the floor if you need low impact option, okay? 15 seconds. 10. Feel the burn. Embrace it. It's gonna be gone soon. Done. Oh! Jeez, do you ever feel like sometimes it hurts more to stop than keep going? Two sets, check done, three to go. Get your weights, shoulder rotation. Oh man, Karen, you're loving it. I love you, Karen. I'm actually thinking about you right now and how hard you worked last night at class. 
I was so inspirational. All my group class people, I love you. There's amazing people. My YouTube subscribers, I am so grateful. When I first started the YouTube channel, I didn't think anyone would want to subscribe. <laughs> I'm just grateful that you're here. I'm so very grateful. Thank you. Arnold Press, up and back in. Arnold Press, show me your palms. Show me the back of your hands. Exhale up, bring them back down. Yep. Thank you for subscribing, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for doing my videos. It means a lot. It means everything. I love your comments. Make me happy. I love getting fit with you. Here we go, inverted row. Let's go. Also called reverse row. Palms up. Just like the bent row we did in the first set. It's the same thing with the hip hinge position. Slight bend in your knees, okay? But this time, palms up. Pull your elbows to the back, same way. All right, we're going back to the shoulder rotation. So three minutes of upper body here. That's it, let's rotate out and in. Yeah, good. Oh, shoulders are on fire, yes. Woo! Now keep your elbows glued into your waist, okay? Don't let them splay out. All right, because we're just moving our forearms here. Elbows glued, okay? Yeah, 10 seconds. Arnold press coming up. Hello, shoulders. Oh, I hear ya. Good, Arnold press right here. And down. That's it. Good, squeeze your glutes if you want a little glute. If you want a little glute in your Arnold press. And in, that's it. Twist your wrist, open, close. Now, I know you're working hard, okay? I want you to remember something when you're doing weight training. And that is your grip on the weights. You do need a secure grip on your weights, but do not squeeze your weights, okay? Keep your fingers loose. Sometimes you just, in some of the moves, need a thumb to hook it so it doesn't fall out. No white knuckle grips ever on weights, on chair, table, anything when you're exercising. Spikes your blood pressure, okay? So try to keep loose fingers as many as you can, okay? Yes. Put the weights down. You did it. You did that three minutes. Guess what? We're at the halfway mark of this workout, okay? We are in set number three if you're just joining us. It's time for core. We're on the mat with oblique sit-ups. Okay, you can use a weight for this one or you don't have to. You're gonna sit up and twist to one side. Alternative, crunch and lift the shoulder, okay? Here we go. Good, exhale, up and twist. Yeah, twist the weight down to your hip if you're sitting up. Okay, if you're crunching, try to lift one shoulder off the mat. Keep the weight to your chest. That's it. Scissors are coming up next on your back. Good, on your back, scissors. Can you lift your head and neck up off the mat? If you need a little relief, put your head and neck back down and lift one leg at a time, okay? Otherwise, similar to the seesaw press, you're moving both legs at the same time. Don't kick the weight. <laughs> that hurts the shin, I've done it. Try to get close though. Going back to the oblique, sit up or crunch. Ready, here we go. Yes. You're doing great out there. I know you are. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Scissors coming up. Right now. Let's go. Break after this. Let's go. Pound them out. 
Can you keep your legs straight? Can you make big L's with your legs? Keep your low back pressed to the floor. No arching. If you're arching or straining, bring your legs higher in the air. Don't let them go so low. Come on, let's pick up the pace because we're almost done. We're almost at break. All right, done. Yay. Okay, next up. Sorry, Trixie. Next up, squat jumps is where we start. Okay, 30 seconds squat jump, 30 seconds butt kicker. Oh, okay. Good. Good job. All right. Ready? Squat jump. It's true. It's here. I was in denial for a few seconds. Like, no, I hate squat jumps. Squat with the heel raise works. All right, go get it. 20 seconds. Then butt kickers. Butt kickers is going to feel like a little bit of relief. It's just easier on the legs. Okay. Stay with me these squats. 10 seconds. Butt kickers, okay? Alternative, step, hamstring curls, okay? You know the drill, move your arms. Otherwise, jog in place, heels up. Oh, how you feeling? Oh, I'm beat, I'm beat. Ready? Rest. Good, everybody. Three sets done. Check. Two to go. We're over the halfway point, okay? How are we feeling out there? Get your weights, friends. Next up. Right, good job, Karen. Still with me. Serving biceps to the side. Out and in. Palms up. Ready? Here we go. Thanks, nice, Miko. Good job. Yes. Good. 15 seconds. Can you extend your arm all the way? Do you need a little relief? If you do, one arm at a time. Lower your weights. Drop your weights if you need to. Try to keep moving your arms. Okay? Tricep kickback. It's that famous hip hinge position again. Elbows up this time. Only moving your forearms back and forth. Do not swing. Elbows are glued into position. They're glued. You're isolating your tricep. Okay? No swinging. It's a distinct start and a distinct stop of this movement. Okay? Oh, yeah. Around the world's coming up. Ready? Here we go. Tap in front and above. Woo! Tough one. This is your inhale down. Up and above. Exhale. Yeah. Good. Super tough. If you need a little less intensity, just make it smaller. Thank you so much for being here. Serving bicep, here we go. Oh, shoulders are on fire. That's it, you're serving a tray. One tray or two trays. One at a time or two at a time. Palms up, elbows come back in for relief. Get out as far as you can. If you can't get out all the way, it's okay. One more. Tricep kickback, here we go. Tricep kickback again. That's it, come on. I want you to keep your eyes down on the floor. Okay, you know what to do. And that's gonna help keep your neck, head, spine, everything in neutral alignment, okay? When you lift your neck, or when you lift your chin, you get your head out of alignment a little bit, okay? All right, around the world's coming. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. 
Break's coming after this, okay? Come on, stay with me. Quality, not quantity. Take as long as you need between each rep and then make it a good rep. 10 seconds. Oh. Yes. Rest. You did it. It's great. Fantastic. Three minutes, upper body done. Okay. Shoulders. Tell your shoulders, good job. Pat yourself on the shoulder. Both shoulders. They're both doing a good job. Okay. Next up, two minutes of core. We got windmills, wood choppers. Obliques is the name of the game in this two minute set. One weight or two. Your choice. Right arm up, left down. Windmill, palms toward me. Ready, here we go. Down to your left leg and up. If you have a weight above your head, it stays pointed to the sky. It's holding a cup of water. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. Don't lean it. Keep it pointed up. If it's too much, drop that top weight altogether. Hang on to the bottom one. Hang on to the one in your left hand, okay? You got this. Good. Put the weight down here. Left foot forward, wood chopper. Up on the right, down on the left. Pivot your back toe, just like we did in the lighthouse. That's it. Good. The straighter your arms, the further away from your body, the more torque on your obliques. Good. Other side. Windmill. Down on your right. Left hand in the air. Hold it high. You can drop the weight if you need to, but keep your arm in the air. Okay. Don't bend it. Don't let it spill the water. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale lift. Wood choppers next. Good. Wood chopper. Right foot forward. Up on the left. Down on the right. Rest after this. Good. Give me a little lunge out of that there, okay? 10 seconds. Yep, almost there. Good, rest. Okay. One minute cardio coming up. Oh, oh. yeah, it's tough. It's very tough. Oh, I'm so happy you're here with me. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for working out, working your body. One day when we're much older, we'll be remembering this fondly when we can do all this stuff, right? Butt kickers. Ready? Here we go. Butt kickers for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm about to tell you what the next 30 seconds is. If you know me, you might have guessed. We're gonna burpee. Yes, we are. Now, burpee, if you have a chair nearby, you can put your hands on the chair to do it, or go back to your squats with a heel lift. Okay, 30 seconds. Ready? Go, let's go. Burpees are scary, aren't they, Trixie? Halfway. Almost there. Last one. Rest. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Come to our last set. That was tough. So we have five sets in this workout. This is number five, okay? Start with reverse curls or zombie curls. Palms are down, elbows in, up and down. Ready? Let's go hit this last, three, two, one. Exhale up, inhale down, elbows in. Whew. 
Good. Try to calm your breathing to get that exhale up. Inhale down, right. Now, if you need extra break after these cardio or any time in the future, reverse flies are next. Here we go. Hip hinge position again. Open and close. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on the fly. One arm at a time if you need to. Arms up and squeeze. Slight bend in your elbows, don't lock them out. What I was saying after cardio, march in place or step. Don't go sit down when you're tired from cardio. You gotta bring your heart rate down slowly by continuing movement. French doors, pec deck. Ready, elbows up, goal post arms. Exhale in. That's it. Good, everybody. Yes, when you're tired, bring your heart rate down slowly. Even if it means marching in place, pacing the floor. Don't ever just stop, okay? Because your blood is pumping and you don't want anything, any blood pooling that's dangerous. Zombie curl, here we go. Oh, we're so close to the end now. I can feel it. Can you feel it? I know you can. You're doing great. You're just doing great. Yeah. Awesome. That's it. We have our reverse flies. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze. Bring it down slow and controlled. Exhale up. Inhale down. Don't let them drop. Control. That's it, you're in charge. Good, everybody. Yeah. We got this. Peck Tech French doors are next. That's it, arms up, goal post. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, elbows together. Yeah, don't just bring the weights together. Let the elbows lead you. It's the elbows that are gonna squeeze and work those pecs, okay? That's the part. Get those elbows in front of you. Yeah. Well, it's a tough one. See my light grip, fingers are up. Rest. Good, everybody. Okay. We're on to our two minutes of core, okay? You're doing great. Two minutes of core. All right, here's gonna start with rainbows. All right, I like to set my weight like this. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna rainbow. That means I'm gonna make a big rainbow around my weights here. Swiveling on my behind, shoulders down. I'm on my wrists, my elbows are my shocks. Ready, here we go. Exhale, and down. Now, how big can you make your rainbow, meaning how tall? How tall, don't really care how wide as long as you're getting around the weight. How tall can you make it? And can you float your feet on the sides and not let them hit the mat? Or if you do hit the mat, can you gracefully touch the mat and not stomp? Jackknives coming up next. Good, jackknives, grab your one weight. One leg at a time, jackknife, sit up or crunch. If you can get your back off the mat, that's cool. But you don't have to. You can crunch and lift your leg. Rainbows next. Here we go. Get your target. Let's go. The lift is the exhale. Force it. Let's do 12. Woo! Good, and your jackknives. Let's have it.
Oh, almost there. Getting close. One more. Good. Okay. Take a little break here, and then guess what? We're on the last minute of cardio. Bad news, it starts with burpees. Good news, it ends with jumping jacks. If you're not burpeeing for this set, squat, heel raise, okay, just bang them out. If you're burpeeing, we go in five seconds for 30 jumping jacks, and then we're done. Ready? Here we go. Don't even think about it. Don't count them. Count doesn't matter. Just try to keep moving. 10 seconds. Last one. Jumping jacks. Whoops, I lost my mic. Jumping jacks. Come on. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Cool down after this. Let's go pick up the pace, 10. All done jumping jacks, yes. Oh, okay, yes, you did it, you did it. Congratulations. Really good, really, really good. Okay. Oh, wow, that was, that was tough. Really nice job, okay? Uh, so like I said, why don't you stop? Go lay, don't go lay down on the couch, okay? Walk around like I'm doing, all right? I always gotta pace in a little bit here, okay? Get yourself a drink, pace a little bit. We're gonna start your cool down. When you're ready, don't skip the cool down. I know, it's 12 Eastern time. You might have to get back to work. Get back to what you're doing, please. Take a few minutes to stretch. Let's start with your shoulders. So much upper body today. Oh, 15 solid minutes of upper body, that's a lot. 10 solid minutes of core. And five solid minutes of cardio. Mixed into very spicy five sets called three, two, one. Just breaking it down. Amazing job. So grateful you're here. When you get done and ready to turn this off, leave me a comment and let me know how you did. Because I'm picturing you all out there just getting so fit and strong. And I'm just, I feel you in my heart. I feel you with me. I'm so glad you're here. Side stretch. Also, I want to know what kind of workouts would you like to see? Is there anything in particular that you like? Um, do you like dumbbells? Do you like cardio? Do you like Pilates? Do you like bar? Do you like kickboxing? Do you like bands? Do you like kettlebells? What kind of things you, would you like to see? Because I would like to continue these YouTube live workouts. Quad stretch here, and you can do that on a chair with the assistance of a chair, or you can balance. Would you like to see? I'd love to make workouts uh, that you want to do and when you want to watch and you want to get fit. Hamstring stretch. Whew. That was a great, great job today. I really feel the burn. It was a tough one. Yeah, congratulations on on whatever you did there. You know, if you if you did all of it, if you did half of it, if you did one set, whatever you did is great, it's, it's something. Something is always better than nothing, even if it's 60 seconds of something, all right? Don't judge yourself on how much you could do last week, last year, five years ago. Today, what are you gonna do today? What can you do today to be a little bit better than yesterday? That's all, that's all you need to do. Just a little bit better than yesterday, maybe. That's all you need to do. Okay, now, if you have time after this workout, you might wanna take my five minute post cool down stretch to give you a little bit more. If you've got to go, I say thank you so much for being here. We're gonna do a little spinal rotation here down here on the floor. Oh, thank you, Miko. Glad you're here. Appreciate your support. Yeah, I sure do. Thank you. I'm going the other side here. Spinal rotation, sit up tall, pull in. Yeah, good. All right, let's sit in a comfortable position, whatever's comfortable for you. 
Go get your overhead tricep stretch here. Just you want to support yourself, uh, your uh, arm here right below the joint, and then pull back here. Okay, pull back behind your head and get the tricep stretch. Oh, okay. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you for making time. You have a busy, busy working working pe people out there making time to get this done get a shower get right back to work i love it i love it i'm grateful for you upper back stretch Good. all right let's get your hip flexors here find your way on all fours one foot forward here and we're just going to lean forward into this stretch we're stretching here the hip flexor right here as you lean forward good Ah, uh, stretching is like a little dessert for your muscles. It's a little dessert for you too, right? You can sit in these few moments here as you stretch your body and reflect on what you just did, how hard you worked and the time you dedicated to your health and wellness. And you really are to be commended for that because unfortunately, no matter how much the people in our lives love us and care about us, that's something they can't do for us, right? They can't be responsible for our health and wellness. We have to take that on ourselves. So the fact that you're watching this wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is, I'm very grateful. And you should be very proud of yourself. You're a strong person for being here. Thank you. I'm Ashley from Get Fit with Ashley. Check me out on getfitwithashley.com. I'll see you next time.